Hello again there friends and fans, Raptor here, welcome back, it is good to see you for today's video on The Architect Paris, a city construction game where we can design and build our very own city blocks within the densely packed city of Paris. Yeah, we can build ourselves some residential areas, some commercial offices, and some parks as we redesign and uh, relay out the city in modern times. All the uh, historical districts from near the Eiffel Tower to near Notre Dame are available, and there's much to do in this city, whereas we can redesign almost everything to our liking. Today's episode, by the way, is sponsored by the developers, so if you'd like to download or check out The Architect Paris, which is available now as of October, or sorry, rather, September 30th. Now it is October, so thus it should be available for you. Check down below in the description. Click or tap that link there, and thanks again for the devs for sponsoring. Thanks for you for dropping in, and of course, if you want to see more of The Architect Paris, make sure you smash like and subscribe, as we've also played it before. And the game is in a much more complete sense now, as it is finally released, as where previously we took kind of a playthrough look at it. We're going to jump into the tutorial. I think it does a fantastic job of setting up the premise of the game. And then we'll take a look at a little bit of the sandbox, which is the meat and potatoes, or the bread and butter, of The Architect Paris. Thanks again for being here. Let's jump into the tutorial and let's build our architecting firm. Architecture firm? Yeah. There we go. Let's go ahead and start in a career mode and also sandbox mode, but we'll start career for now. And we'll go ahead and get into the tutorial shortly. We'll go with the, uh, this looks like a nice logo here. There we go. And we'll go ahead and begin. Let's go. All right, and so things begin. I like all the things on the screen here. Lots of information on everything in terms of the GDP, the inhabitants, number of homeless. A lot of things to consider as we build the city and uh, decide where things go and what they'll look like. A young apprentice arrives in Paris. Hello, my name is Pierre Le Penic, and I'm a project manager for the urbanism department of the city of Paris. You work for me. Nice to meet you. Because you just arrived, I'm going to spend a little bit of time with you to show you the ropes. We just got the perfect project for beginners. Start working on it when you're ready. I'll wait. Select the project tutorial builder by clicking on District 52 and then select on it on the district map. Click the pin at the bottom of the screen to start the project. Okay, let's begin. All right, so District 52 is down here, but you can see all the available districts currently. And there should be more, I believe, in the future updates for the game too. So there's much more available uh, than before. We see many historic sites and landmarks, of course. Uh, some of these recognizable to me, not all, uh, but very nice to see uh, Arc de Triomphe, for example, Eiffel Tower, uh, Notre Dame and the Louvre. So let's go ahead and click on District 52, 13th Borough. Okay, uh, there are still plenty of projects to carry out in this district. Click on the colored blocks to select a project. Okay, Tutorial Builder. In this first tutorial project, you will learn the City View and the Drawing Board, 3D Navigation, and the Builder Tool. Ooh, wait a minute. What? Build three new buildings and build one new park. <laughs> We're already starting off a building. All right, I like it. Let's jump in and see what we can do. Oh, this looks really nice. So I can already tell you the buildings around us in white we can modify as we select different districts, but we'll be building the city in small slices and pieces at a time. So that way, if we want to visit any part of the city, we can click on the district and then more specifically this uh, neighborhood and then modify it as we choose. So everything around us will be modifiable and then we'll be able to see it in a more grand scale at another time. Welcome! In this first project, we'll see the basics of the interface and we'll learn how to construct simple buildings and a park. Most architectural work in Paris is replacing existing buildings as the city is already very densely built. This project is no exception. Welcome to City View. This is where you can see your project. Oh, <laughs> oh, he's <laughs> I'm quickly learning. He's, he's telling me to do stuff, but uh, I want to do uh, just quickly zoom in because it's very beautiful. Uh, not bad. Each project takes place on one or more city blocks. To find the project block, click on the green dot. So right there. Before we do that, though, let's look around a little bit. So as you can see, we can construct uh, buildings of public squares and parks. We can also construct uh, long residential homes, which also have businesses in them, too. You know, for example, uh, the first floor could have a lot of uh, shops like uh, bakeries and cell phone shops and whatnot. And then, of course, people can live above. And some of these even look like uh, government buildings, such as possible schools and police departments and hospitals. You can use your imagination a bit when you build something. You can plop it down and say, okay, this is a gym, or okay, this is a, uh, a McDonald's, or whatever you want to come up with in your mind. But, of course, it also has to look a certain way, too. And, of course, this building here would be a perfect, like, office building. Possibly even a, uh, yeah, maybe it's a residential building with the little balconies, but... Of course, uh, that is that is an eyesore. I hope we get to actually delete that and build something else. But anyway, let's see what we're building. Looks like we're working on this block here. Okay. 
That's it. Now all you have to do is select on the highlighted block and then click uh, that square button to open the drawing board. All right, you got it. So we can see a little bit of information here. Empty housing is uh, 11. Housing for 102 people. And the cost is uh, 12,000 euros uh, per quarter, per month. I'm not I'm not sure. Oh, uh, that's per space, a square meter. Okay. <laughs> I thought it was uh, the rent that it was generating. But no, it's uh, the cost of operating or uh, leasing the land. Open the drawing board. Let's go. Here is the drawing board. This is where we'll edit the city blocks one by one. Some plots are not part of the city project. To see which ones, click on the little square building thingy. This. Okay. As you can see, the transparent plots cannot be edited for this project. Let's try to build something starting by clicking on an edible plot. Now, I really like this. I will say right now, one of the most intimidating things of games in which you can design buildings or uh, areas for a city when you construct it is really getting into this individual uh, construction mode of buildings that you want to see in your city. And typically, you know, in a, a management game, which this is not, this is a construction game, you can plop down a quick little residential area and a prefabricated building will be selected. But here is when we get to add a lot of different things such as, you know, grammar to the outside of buildings. We get to add, uh, you know, awnings and aprons and billboards and other doodads to make it look a little different. So that's kind of something that I didn't really think I would be good at before, but delightfully surprised that this game showed me something about myself that I just wasn't confident in that I quite enjoy now. All right, let's go ahead and click on the uh, edible buildings. Now that you have selected a plot, choose the design you want to build the first panel on the right. The project does not specify any design rules, so what you build is up to you. Okay, we can design this building, or a more modern building on the corner. That looks really nice. I like that. I think we should go with a, a more modern look and make it look perhaps a mall. It's going to be a residential building, of course, but in my mind, I picture this as being a wonderful mall or something along those lines in Japan. We can choose the height as well. Uh, you can also enter the number of floors directly with the keyboard example. You can lower the building to six. So yes, right now we're at 10. We can go down to six or we can go up to 50 if we want to. Although I'm sure for the tutorial we're kind of locked in. That's right. By constructing a building, you've advanced a goal and used a portion of the funds allocated to the project. You will not be able to submit the project if you go over budget. Don't worry about this during the tutorial. Try to validate the first goal. Build three new buildings. Right. So we need to do this three times. Great, build one more building to finish the first objective. Congratulations, you validated your first objective. You can also build something other than a building, for example, a park or a square. Look at the different uh, types of land that can be built. Yes, so we have, uh, we can build car parks, so parking lots, which have utterly destroyed the United States beautiful architecture, unfortunately. Uh, we also have outdoor areas, so we have like uh, football greens and um, Japanese kiosks and uh, tea gardens and such and gazebos and wonderful decorations for outdoor plazas. And of course, we even have just the ability to delete all together or construct things that are residential or uh, commercial or, as it says here, schools. And uh, we can take a look at all sorts of different bonuses for that, too. Well, anyway, that seems good to me. So let's go ahead and build a park, which is going to be inside there. So that's what we're looking to do next. So we need to delete whatever that is and make it something else. Uh, let's see. Now you should have the means to validate both objectives. Yes. So I would like to do that. I would like to select a garden such as this. That looks nice. We'll go with something like that. There's automatically ponds selected. There's trees down. That bench is in the water. But uh, you get it. It's something that the, uh, I guess, the uh, landscaping company can work out. We're just designating that as a park area. This is what they've come up with. But you get it. Uh, trees would look nice in there too. But this is, of course, just a tutorial. Bravo! Now that you've completed all the objectives, you still need to submit the project. Let's go see how well the project fits with the city. Exit the drawing board by clicking the uh, symbol of Paris, the Eiffel Tower. Are you sure you want to? Yes, I do. All right, let's go back and see how it all blends in then. And away we go. What do you think of the result? I think it's pretty good. To submit the project, just click on the confirm button. Right, so if we don't like it, we can delete it and do something else. But this looks nice. It, it kind of fits in with the area, but yet stands out as its own thing. And I think that's one of the things that you're going to have to cope with in this game, is that there's plenty of buildings of all sorts of different types of eras. You've got the 50s here, the 80s, the 70s. You've got buildings that are you know, hundreds of years old, decades year old, and possibly thousands of years old, depending on where they are. So let's go ahead and confirm and continue. Good job. Your project is now built in the city, 
Here you can admire it or start the project over. When you feel ready to continue the tutorial, return to the strategic map. We've earned 10 architect points, or whatever that may be. Good job. Ah, so the points that we earned at the end of the last tutorial was called Reputation. Completing your first project has given you a little bit of reputation. This is the most important resource for an architect. You can use it to improve your inventory of design. Let's go see how it works in the design library. This game's doing a fantastic job of showing you where everything is, and it's definitely interesting and beautiful to look at. Um, <laughs> I like how that looks like a little model. I, that, that's exactly what I was thinking of before as we were building the buildings in the blueprint mode is that we were taking them on the side, designing them as kind of a miniature building, then plopping them into the city where it fits that space perfectly. The design library got every design uh, available during projects. Right now, there are not many, but I'm sure it's going to change really soon. Let's go to the design market so you can buy your first design. Let's do just that. Designs are bought in bundles. Each bundle belongs to an architectural school and is organized around a theme. Looks like there's only one bundle you can buy right now. Buy it before starting the next project. Interesting. So we've got the middle school project that we can buy. Uh, there's also defense, recursive, castle. Uh, let's see, brutalist, New York, invasion. Interesting types of styles. That's cool. So we have uh, we can go for more of like a like a Japan or a Chinatown type look. Prototypes, different types of uh, middle schools and. Houseman, which I think is the uh, traditional Paris building, not more than 10 stories from what I've seen. Uh, buildings that look like they're from Amsterdam. So lots of different districts that we can build. We could, of course, make like a little Chinatown and have it uh, kind of fit a certain theme for tourists and locals who want to drop in there. These look really nice, and some of them having much more than others. Um, yeah, a lot of middle school type looks and uh, world tour buildings that look like they're from anywhere in the world. Okay, let's start with the top. So middle school, there it is. Let's go ahead and click on that one. Anyone who went to school in France in the 2000s will recommend uh, recognize these drab-colored boards and rough concrete courtyards. Yes, yeah, so a friend of ours that you may have seen before on the channel many times, Alex, has confirmed that a lot of these buildings in this game are ones that he would see every day that were definitely based on architecture that's taken from one area of France or Paris and then just moved and replicated in different many ways that look different but yet they still fit a perfect theme. They're recognizable, but different. Apparently this is from the 60s, so it probably last, uh, lasted until then, or at least was updated recently. That's really neat. I like that. Bravo. The middle school design doesn't look much, but it's your first modern design, and it fits all kind of projects. I'm sure you'll find it useful. Let's uh, go to the design library. That's what I'm assuming he's saying. Yep. Okay. Well, let's go back to the design library right up top. I wonder what these other buttons are. Every architect has their own style and develops their design library to match. I can't wait to discover the architect you are going to become. Return to the strategic map when you want to start your second project. Okay. So yeah, again, we can click and design in any of these districts and all the buildings within that. And then there should be a way where we can zoom out to see all of them from what I recall. Ongoing projects, completed projects, unlock projects, acquired designs and districts. Yeah, I like this. It makes you make creative decisions based on budgets and other things that really make me feel a lot more creative in many other building games that allow you to really manage the construction and design of areas for everybody's use. That's very cool. Uh, we need to build three new buildings again and one new park, it seems. No, we need to cut ten new plots and build at least five new buildings, so much better than our previous goal. In this tutorial project, you'll learn to merge plots, cut plots, and... Oh, yeah, this is going to be interesting. I know exactly what's in store for us next. Sharpen your pencils. Drawing is the heart of the architect's work. Without a well-structured plan, you can't build anything strong. In this second project, we'll see how to draw the plots, which allows you to create buildings of all shapes and sizes. As we've, as we've seen in the previous project, you should start by opening the project block in the drawing board. Okay. Where exactly are we looking at? Ah, of course, right here. So that's where we're building it. Interesting. Interesting. Well, that's a very nice city block. I like it. Okay, so let's see some information here. Five million kilo... Oh, is this their power usage? Wow. GDP of just this area, 13.5 million. <laughs> wow. For real? I, I'm, I'm not exactly sure what all this means, but I'm, I love the uh, information in detail. We've seen some of this before, but now it makes me have more questions and answers, and I get to open my mind to learn, man. 
In the previous project, you learned how to create a building or a flat terrain using the construction tool. In this project, we're going to focus on the plot editor. Start by opening the plot editor by clicking on the uh, plot editor mode. There we are. Let's start by making room. You're currently in the merge tool of the plot editor. Merge two adjacent plots by clicking on the first one and then on the second. Exactly. To go faster, you can also merge all the plots at once by clicking the uh, what looks to be a tornado button. Yes! Now you have the room to split the plots as you want. To do this, start opening uh, the plot with cutting tool. Okay. Uh, to split a plot that you've from one of its edges and create cutting lines uh, to another edge, try to do this. Now at this moment, this is reminding me a lot of Townscaper, a game that, of course, you click just like you do here to design uh, buildings in, in small areas. And that's something that I really love and think is very creative. So here we can kind of do the same where we design uh, buildings this way. So we can connect the dots here if we want to. Or we can probably, uh, yeah, connect to another edge. So we don't necessarily have to do that. Or we can click anywhere that we want like that, but I don't like that. So right clicking removes that. Let's go ahead and connect that there. Congratulations, block cutting is a very important component. Uh, let's see what your cut has done to the block. Go back to construction mode. Ugh, I want to cut even more, but it looks like we're stopped here to do any more. Oh, that's okay. Let's see what it does. There's much to see at the moment. Build something in one of the two plots so we can get an idea what it looks like. Okay, well, let's build a building here. We'll go with the middle school. And we'll go with a park out here. Uh, the shape of the building follows the layout given the plot editor, which makes it a very powerful tool for creating customized structures to suit the situation and your desires. Let's go back to the plot editor. You now know how to cut out the plots, but freehand tracing is not always accurate. You can turn on some handy uh, drawing guides. Click on the blue crane button. Oh, it's the uh, cursor tool or the drawing assistance tool. Helpers will allow you to draw lines perpendicular or parallel to existing lines. Oh, okay. What if I wanted to draw... Uh, we want this tool. Uh, now cut a plot at a perpendicular angle. Okay. So... Oh, I see. So somewhat parallel. Well, it looks like that's where they want me to draw that, so we'll click there. Well done. The helpers display the angles and length between the lines that's being drawn. Enable this tool. Try cutting something out to see the helper in action. Oh, really? Uh, oh, I see. We can cut more plot. Oh, that's very cool. Oh, they want me to cut here, though. All right, we're following the instructions. You are now familiar with the features of the plot editor. In this project, you have to cut the block into at least 10 plots. I'm sure you'll manage. Take this opportunity to try the other helper tools. Oh, boy. Um, okay, I, I would like to cut this plot again, may I? Oh, I can. All right, well, let's go here then. They want me to follow that line, but it snaps up there. There we go. So we need uh, 10, right? So let's continue to cut. There we go. Uh, and how many do we have now? Two, four, six, eight. So let's go 9 and 10. Perfect. You've done it. Congratulations. When you're ready to continue, go back to the builder mode. The first objective is fulfilled. To finish the project, we'll need to have 10 plot cuts cut out, at least 5 buildings erected. I'm sure you're up to the task for trying to make something nice. Okay. Let's see. I would like to uh, do some parks in these areas, so let's try that out. Well, let's go with uh, some of these nice parks. Ooh, very nice. And over here, let's make a sculpture garden, maybe? Oh, that looks nice. Perfect. I'm uh, thinking of making, like, a a, 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 a campus, may maybe. Yeah. Okay, let's go with another building here. So they are saying to us that we need to have five buildings erected in this space. So we could try to build like this. Excellent, and then everything else can be uh, parks if we want to. Uh, but unfortunately, I guess it's cutting it out to be pathways, which is okay, actually. Maybe we could put a bike rack here and a uh, pathway for the students to get through. I'm just picturing a school, but, you know, you, nothing can stop your imagination, really. Congratulations, you've proven that you know how to use the drawing board. If you're lost in the interface, there's always the uh, square button that proves useful information about different buttons. Give it a try. 
Okay, that is this button here. Oh, the book button. The help button. Oh, boy. The compass. Project panel. Oh, man. There is a, there is quite a lot to learn here. All right. Let's go back to the old drawing board. Or, well, I guess the city view board. There we go. A project is never really finished until you've taken a picture of your work. Click on the camera to open the camera. Well, that makes sense. Photo mode? Uh, or something different. Oh, we can actually shrink this down. That's helpful. Very nice. Cool. There's our camera. The, pho uh, the photograph of the project is the first thing your fellow architects will see. It's therefore important to take a nice picture that shows the quanti qualities of the project. Take your time. Oh, boy. So we can take a picture of the whole city, I suppose, if we want to. Or of the district uh, thingy that we just designed, which is here. The uh, nice little building. Ah, it doesn't look too bad. Just a tutorial, so I would like to add more detail, but honestly, the building looks nice. Oh, it looks like a modern science center and uh, an older school. Looks like it's getting updated. I like it. Go ahead and take our picture, then. Uh, please take a picture to validate your project and share it. To take a screenshot, press F12. Hide interface with spacebar. Wow, the game literally tells you to take a Steam screenshot. That's pretty nice. Nice. Nice is a city in France. You get it? Okay. Deliver the project with the picture. Yes, please. Let's see what they think of that. Very good! You've taken a great picture, and now you know how to use the tools of the drawing board. For the next part of the initiation, we will see the community features of its of projects. You'll be able to measure the importance of the photo. Your reward, 100. Influence. Awesome. Reputation. Good. Good. Very good. So, exporting your project allows architects from all over the world to see it and your reputation grow. It also allows you to save it, otherwise it might be lost if you save, uh, if you start this project over. Click export to export your project. If you do not want to export, return to the strategic map and continue the initiation. Oh, interesting. Uh, so we can go ahead and upload. Uh, name your project, Raptors <laughs> uh, Middle School Project. Uh, schools out for summer. Let's do that. School time. So this is almost like The Sims, isn't it? Where we get to build a uh, area, a plot, and then get to share it with others. That's actually very cool. Uh, many people in that building game allow you to, uh, you know, make a house or something like that and then share it with other people. So that is cool. I, I really hope that's actually a feature here to be able to share with everybody else. Nice. Oh, and there it goes. Exporting. Good. All done. Oh, there you go. If you want to find it, there's the uh, link for it. Cool. Confirm. All right. Now that you've exported your project, you can see what others have done. What? Yes, we can. <laughs> uh, here are all the versions of the project other players have made. It may take a few minutes to show up. Uh, let's click on a project. Oh. Um, oh, this looks nice. The tiny project, my first block. Let's go with a uh, tiny project. Let's see what we can do with it. Wow, the tutorial actually allows you to modify other people's work. That's a that's genius. That's actually quite good. Usually you get thrown out into the world and that's when it begins. But in the tutorial, I feel safe and nothing can hurt me. Uh, before you look at this project from every angle, you need to download it. Click on the download button. Otherwise, return to the strategic map. No, this is great. This is a wonderful tutorial. It may, uh, may take a few minutes to download the project. Now, let's build the project. The imported project will place the version currently built in the city but that's okay because you've already exported it we'll find it later oh good so let's build tiny project then that'll be nice the imported project is built feel free to admire it from every angle if you think it's a particularly good project give it a thumbs up when you're done click the uh, green button to recover your own versions of the project well of course uh oh we have to like it though uh, let's see well I think it looks good that's actually quite nice. Oh, they were very clever in uh, utilizing uh, many different rectangles to create open spaces on the... Well, basically to the second floor so light can get in from all angles. That's genius. I'd love to use that for my own designs. Very nice. Well done. Well done indeed. Okay. So let's see. When you're done, give it a like. Uh, where's that like button? Ah. I would like to like it, please. I think I did. I hope I did. Okay, back to the drawing board. 
We're making great progress and we're on to the final part of the tutorial, tutorial goals. In, the last tutor in this last tutorial project, you'll learn to read and understand project goals and even the most devious ones. Build 300 meters, 3,000 square meters of new living area, build new buildings on at least 1,000 square meters of ground surface, reduce the total living area by 2,000 meters. Oh, now it's time to get evil. Good. Good. Happy to see you again. In a traditional project, goals are never as simple as what we saw in the previous projects. In this third and final initiation project, we will see some examples of more conventional objectives. As in previous projects, start by opening the project block in the drawing board. Okay, let's do just that. Hmm. Nothing out of the ordinary here so far, I think. I was expecting to see, like, maybe a massive uh, empty building or something, but okay. Back to the drawing board. Let's look at the first goal. It's all about constructing new buildings. Start by making one. You got it. Okay. Hmm. We're making one building? Or we're renovating one? Let's renovate this tiny building. Oh, it's like a little parking garage. Gross. Or wait. Well, it's something, all right. There we go. The goal calls for living area. This is a measure of how much housing, office, and retail space can be put into your buildings. Each floor adds to the living area of the building, so to meet this goal, simply increase the height of the building you just built. Okay, let's double it. From 5 to 10. Or more? Or more? Sir, do you want more? Oh, it's gotta reach 3,000. Oh my god, whoa! The second goal is different. It requires ground surface. This is the area of the land that your buildings are built on. Increasing the height has no impact, as you just saw. Build new feet, uh, buildings until you reach the goal. Well, I feel that's a good idea. But that's way too much. So let's go ahead and reduce. Let's go to five. And let's do the same on some of these other buildings. Okay. So we just need a thousand square meters. There we go. That'll that'll cover it. Good work. Let's move on to the third goal. This time, it doesn't only talk about the new buildings. That means that the ones that are already on the block are beginning uh, of the project count too. Hover the mouse over a goal to see which buildings contribute to meeting it. Ah, okay. We need to reduce the area by two thousand meters. Square meters. Okay. Uh, oh. These goals are pretty simple, but the filter could go a long way in helping to understand a more complicated goal. If I haven't told you about the demolition tool yet, it might be helpful in completing this third goal. Click on the uh, wrecking ball to open the demolition tool. Oh boy. As the name suggests, the demolition tool allows you to demolish a building. Click on any building to turn it into dust. As you can see, destroying a building reduces the living area. Click on the building thing to access the building tool. I knew you could do it. Good job. If you're ready to finish this initiation, return to the city view. Oh, well, let me build a little park there at least. There we go. Uh, let's go with that. No, that. Uh, there, Dutch breathing intensifies. Perfect. Okay. I guess we're done here. Uh, yes, I do. Don't forget, a project is never really finished until you take a picture of your work. Oh, yeah, of course. Are you sure you want me to take a picture of this? <laughs> okay. Uh, let's do it. Alright, let's zoom in nicely. So we can adjust all sorts of details. Oh, wow, we can even have different seasons if we want to. Let's be somebody who's on the street. There we go, that looks nice. Please take a picture to validate your project. Perfect. I like it. Congratulations. That was the last project of your initiation. For the next one, you'll have to figure it out on your own, but I'm sure you'll be fine. Don't forget to share your creations with the world and buy new designs in between each project. Your reward, 110 reputation. The tutorial is over. You'll now need to complete each project on your own. You can restart the tutorial projects at any time. Awesome. All right, let's go on now and use our points to build and buy new stuff and make our very own customization of Paris. We are the architect. Let's go.
All right, so now that uh, career mode has kind of officially gotten started, there's three main areas for us to focus on in this district. We can then uh, build a square for people to hang out and meet in. We've got a parking garage project to work on, but I think Green Alley here focusing on making a park and also making sure enough people can, uh, you know, also live there too is a good goal for us. Now, from here on out, we can go into the uh, sandbox mode too and try to try out new designs and save them, which we can then import and try here in career mode. But I want to keep up with the career as that limitation of budget and specific goal really interests me. And of course, I think makes me a better player too. Let's jump in, see how it goes. Let's begin. Nice to see you again. Do you like nature? Cities have a role to play in ecology. Downtown parks reduce soil sealing, provide a sanctuary for birds and insects, and combat some of the effects of global warming. Plus, it's pretty. Oh, that's true. All right, well, let's go ahead and build a lovely little park. We're near a large rail yard. It looks like a railway station. Or no, actually, just a uh, underpass for trains. Although, there is likely a train under there then as I don't really see it come out. So this is going to be a very important public space nearby a very busy intersection too. Look at that, you can see the trains running in the city as well. We can see trains going back and forth, cars seemingly going where they need to, and people uh, walking about, I think, some sometimes we can see people. Maybe not so much, but we definitely can see cars, and the city feels alive rather than just being a, you know, a dead open square. So that's good. Well, speaking of dead open squares, let's go ahead and get that uh, park started then. So we need to uh, construct in each block uh, one park made up of one or more plots which crosses the whole block. Okay, so we need to be careful about that. So let's go ahead and get focused on these two areas here. And let's begin construction. Okay, area number one. So let's do a redesign of this whole area. I want to get rid of it. There we go. And then this is the only area that we can build in, so we need to be cautious about what we do. But again, this is just design mode, so nothing's permanent until we say it is. Okay, design mode. Let's wash. Ah, oh, there we go. So now we have an area for a very nice park. Let's go ahead and make a area here. So we're going to use all of our skills. Do we have our guiding tools? Ah, oh, there it is. Yes, the scissors at the top. Perfect. try to build a structure here. I think we can actually move these dots, too, if we want to. Uh, no, we can only just delete them. Or go back if we want to. Oh, yeah, that's nice. Okay. I do want to wipe everything, though. So let's try to use our... Oh, yeah, there we go. 90 degree angles if we want. Keep it 90 degrees here. And we'll try to make it 117 degrees there. There we go. We can build a building there and then parks all throughout that. That looks nice. Okay, let's go back to the design uh, builder mode. There we go. We can design a building here if we'd like. Let's go with like a school building there. And let's make it uh, eight stories. Very nice. Hmm. Maybe a more modern building. Or maybe one of these. That looks nice. Let's go with the traditional uh, houseman. And we'll make that uh, six stories. Perfect. Let's make it a little shorter for the uh, people in the back, actually. There we go. Now they can look over into the park as well. Cool. Okay, let's go ahead and make a park now. And we'll make it look like a Parisian park, of course. As it, as it would make sense. Uh, looks like it doesn't quite meet the goal, though, of the park area. So we at least need to get rid of this one here. Okay. Now this is for the whole block, so we can do the other buildings, too. So this is the total block goal, not just the specific block goal. There's nowhere else that we can delete, so let's actually change that a little bit. Let's see if we can make it something else. That looks good. I wish we could be a little bit more technical in connecting some of these pathways, but it's kind of more of just like a, a rough draw of how things will look in the future. Okay, let's see. Increase the park area by at least 1250. I wish we could make parks even bigger, but there's nothing else we can destroy. So we'll go with that then. That's what the buildings will look like. Okay, back to city view. Actually, we'll uh, go ahead and build that. There we go. And back to city view. 
Now we'll increase it on the other side by doing the same with the other building, and we'll try to keep as many buildings as possible. I like the one building I was going to construct, but we just need a little bit more park, which means that one area can be more housing and another can be more park. So this one here is also what we can modify. Back to the drawing board on this one. Oh yeah, look at that. We can delete a lot of these buildings here. So we'll open that up to the park on this side too. To the east side, which is where the uh, area will be. Ooh, yeah, I don't like that either. Let's get rid of those. We'll try to maintain as much of this as possible. Let's get rid of the uh, blocks. Oh, that may delete that building that was there. Well, let's make it one giant park. Why not? We need more parks. Ah, yes, and we can increase the amount of trees here, too, if we'd like, with this slider. I think one is good, but let's randomize it. There we go. That's perfect. Very nice. Okay. Both uh, goals are accomplished. Probably way too many trees, but honestly, I'm not going to complain about it. I like that quite a bit. There we go. So the plot looks nice. Uh, both check marks are complete. Uh, in each block, at least have one park made up of one or more plots, which crosses the whole block. So indeed, that does. That goes to either side. So that should be good. Let's go ahead and exit the drawing board. I love that loading music. I love the chammering in the background of people. And the car is passing through. Alright, looks like we've got both uh, goals completed here. Yep, wow, we increased it to even more than we needed to. Wow, it looks really great. So let's take a look at it in comparison to the uh, train line. Yeah, so people could maybe uh, come back above ground here or there. And uh, there's a large, very large building complex here. But then people can walk down and come through the park if they want to, to skip that block. Or maybe have a bus stop nearby or something between the streets. Uh, really great use of space, in my opinion, because there's a lot of open space there, too. So it kind of is a good buffer zone between the cities. Very nice, indeed. All right, guys, as a reminder, this is Architect, the Architect Paris, and it is available now on Steam for $17.99. And the game is, of course, a construction builder where we can design and destroy and then build again all sorts of buildings around Paris to truly make it ours. And the city is definitely alive with all the requirements of population and uh, the GDP and other things to consider when doing this. And of course, today's video was sponsored by the developers. I want to come on back and do this one some more in the future. So if you think this is great and want to see more, make sure you click or tap that like button. We can only really scratch the surface of a game like this in the time that we have. But there are some beautiful videos out there and screenshots from the developers. And of course, lots of stuff from the community that they've been building too. So consider that when you download today. I'll see you all next time. Thank you very much for watching, and we'll see you soon. Take care, everyone. Au revoir.